Hey everybody, it's BZ here, and welcome to another episode of Stationers. Uh, I was just out doing a little bit of mining, I've been doing a little bit of work over here, I'm extending the platform a little bit, because uh, I want to start getting into processing ice and storing things a little bit better. Uh, first of all, thank you, to, thank you so much for everybody leaving all the comments and tips in the comments down below just uh filling me in on the game uh, the game definitely has a learning curve uh, things like the logic circuits and stuff like that i do have an idea of what's sort of going on here like i was sort of reading the description of their, their logic my head just can't get to stuff like this for some reason anymore but more or less this is reading the the angle of the sun uh and the efficiency of the panels i believe and then it, it does a calculation uh to get an angle that it should be set to and then when it gets a, the angle that it sets it with the batch writer so it's basically rewriting the angle every time uh, it was also su suggested too that the memory one of these this one should be set to 1.8 instead of 1.5 to get better efficiency but for the time being like I've had this thing running all night I've been printing stuff I smelled some stuff and I haven't even touched ha like even one of the batteries so that is good uh, I was messing around with a few other things too oh yeah um, as far as stackers and sorters go uh, I do have a stacker here I was using the shoots because I was trying to sort of like get like get like a queue system set up I wanted to see how this would work if I could just pull one out and then have one, have it sort of drop down and have another stack ready so I didn't pile it on the floor but that's not the case yes I know of the vending machines I, yes I know of sorters and I do plan on using all of them in due time uh, my first goal though is I actually want to try to get this thing automated on proper fuel source and I do know how to do that I have been making a whole bunch of stuff I got a whole bunch of pipes I got uh, atmospheric kits for the oh what were those those were oh yeah the, the filtration to filter all the gases and basically what I want to do is I want to set up a box like this but I'm going to probably set up a little bit higher so it gets more exposure to the sun and just start melting ice in there and going through a, a pipeline with a bunch of different filters on it going to different tanks and with pressure regulators and I'm hoping I'm going to be doing this right that'll actually pull the gases through the lines and into tanks. Uh, this hasn't melted and I think I know why. I think it's because since the, valve, the vent is turned off that the pressure inside is too great for this to actually melt. That's my theory. I could be wrong. Uh, correct me if I am. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, what I wanted to do is first let's see how big these tanks are. I don't think they were that big. I'm just going to go with the small tanks for now. I do know there's large tanks and small tanks. But let's see how big this is. Oh, that's... That's not what I wanted. That's an atmospheric kit. I wanted a tank. Uh, since I changed my jetpack too, I should have room. I do. Okay, I'm going to keep that closed. Because I have a habit of turning my air conditioning on for some reason. Okay, let's put that back for now. We'll take the tanks. Now, I know there's two sizes. There's a small tank and a large tank. Uh, we don't need the large tank for now. Uh, but basically, it's just, this is just for filtering all the ice. That I, well, melting all the ice and filtering it. Um, I know there's shortcuts for making fuel. Like if you run water through an electrolyzer, which I'm going to test, should get you a perfect fuel mixture. And, uh, oh yeah, wrong button. Now, let's see, is there an in and out on this tank here? Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out if there's like an actual input and output on these tanks. Hang on, I'll get it eventually. I'll just place it there for now. And, let's see what we have. We've got power and data, or probably just data. We got one pipe. Hmm. Let's have a look at the the bigger one. Yeah, the bigger one's going in and out. Or does it? Shows an in, but it doesn't show an out. Okay, so I'll have a look at this one. Since I get the right rotation. And need more. Why do I need four? I guess. I don't know. Uh, let me do a cut here. I'll be right back. 
I actually had two more mini made. Three more actually. Alright, so that is an input. So I can only guess that that's gonna be an output. I should have grabbed some pipes while I was over there. I apologize. When am I ever prepared? If I was, I might actually be a full time YouTuber. Anyway, let's see what this does. Is this actually gonna connect here? If I hit C, it should connect automatically. No, it doesn't. Shows it as an input, but doesn't show an actual output. It's a good thing we take these things apart. Yeah, when I placed it, it was just an in. Hmm. I'll be right back and check this out. Okay, well, I was going to print up a whole bunch more tank kits and uh, just make large tanks, but uh, I looked at the price of them, and we're not going to do that. Not until, I, not until I make more steel, anyways. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to use the small tanks now. I think for now, because I know we're going to need a few of them. Uh, let's see if we can get this, like, here. So we're going to need one for hydrogen, one for oxygen, one for nitrogen, well, technically, in the order I'm going to do it is going to be nitrogen, water, then hydrogen, and oxygen. Oh, that's in the wrong spot. And funny enough, we actually use a, a drill to remove just about everything in the game. And it seems like the drill is the one thing that doesn't actually... Oh, it does have a battery. Then how come you don't have to turn it off? I don't think I've ever turned that thing off, and yet I've actually replaced the fuel in my welder already. Anyway, uh, enough rambling. So the next one is going to go here. And then I'll have to paint them and all that stuff. So then what's going to happen is melting chamber is going to be... Uh, what we're going to do is... I need the atmospheric kits. Then I'll be placing those down for pressure regulators. And... No, not pressure regulators. And filters. Uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, for some reason, these don't stack, even though it's a small part. Uh, pressure regular will take those. These will need power. Uh, I think we can manage the power situation. Oh, get me off of there. Thank you. Okay, and... Okay, that's not uh, going to automatically connect. So I think the pipe is a situation here. Do a pipe like this. And then get the pressure regulators. And let's see here. That's going the wrong way. Oh, damn you. I wanted to have the, the valve up top. There we go. That's what I want. And the power on the side, which I don't think it really matters. Uh, so, yeah, uh, let me do that, and then I'll get the filters down, and I'll bring you back for that. Okay, so here's the filtration. This is actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, basically, what's going on, I don't know if I can snap it there. I don't think I can. Uh, basically, the gas line goes in. Let me turn the light on so you can actually see. The gas line goes in. The filtered item goes out, and then the remainder goes through the other side. So that is how this works. So I'll just do that, and then gotta grab the other two. For like I said, for some reason they don't stack, but now I can see why because it's a little bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And I'm actually glad I made a whole bunch of pipe. That's the wrong spot. So let me get all this connected, and I shall return. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. The other three were air conditioners, not filtration units. Okay, after a quick copper run, because uh, I needed more wire, and I wanted to... Uh, what else do I want to make? Oh yeah, I want to make that gas mixer too. I don't think I actually made that. I am back. I'm just sort of wiring it into the, the mess of a system I have right now. I definitely have to rewire this place eventually. Uh, a few other things I'll mention too. It was uh, mentioned about not needing an APC between the solar panels and the batteries. Uh, one of the issues I did have is this junction here between the power controller and the batteries had fried. And that wire, and then this wire had also fried. So I don't know why, and the reason why I had that there is I was trying to prevent overload, and I thought maybe the reason why this was frying 
was because I had the generator and the solar panels both supplying into the power controller. So that's why I did that. I didn't know that there was no limit on the input. I'm worried about frying the batteries more than anything. Uh, but that's besides the point. So let's uh, go ahead and finish this up. Also, uh, regarding the, the hard suit jet pack, I knew about that. Or hard suit space pack, I do know of that. Uh, I was going to get into that. I was also suggested too that I look into mods for mining. Uh, I don't mind doing the off-camera mining. It's kind of thing where I just watch YouTube as I go along and do my thing. I'm also thinking about checking out the the heavy drill and see if that works a little bit faster. But this is what I've got so far. Um, I just tried to color code them all. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Jetpack, please. Yes. Uh, yeah, color coded them so that this is going to be green eventually. That's for the nitrogen. Yeah. So I got two filters in each one, so that's for the nitrogen, this is for the water, this is for the volatiles or hydrogen, and this is for the oxygen. Uh, I'm going to go change my battery here quickly. Uh, I did get the, the melting chamber all set up, and unfortunately the sun's going down, so we can't actually test it yet. Uh, so what I will do, let's get rid of that, and bring that back up, and swap that battery out. It's always good to have batteries charged. I mean to make more of these large batteries but I haven't gotten around to it but yeah I ba basically have the same thing set up as here I have it up top here I'm hoping well, I'm realizing now the chute might be in the way stop from, that might uh, prevent the melting process I don't know I know there's uh, heaters too but they need a pressurized space for it to work so I don't know if that would actually work in here or not uh, but we'll give that a shot and in theory the, this should filter everything out uh, I don't think they're actually turned on, are they? Oh, they are now. Good. Alright, and then this should filter everything out. Uh, I don't think there's anything, anything left. There might be some pollutants, but as far as I know, pollutants are only generated from the smelting process itself, which gets used as jetpack fuel. Uh, regarding canisters, too, I was looking on the wiki, and apparently uh, color coding does sort of determine in-game what the canisters are. So if I were to take a yellow canister that you print or orange or whatever the default color is and you fill it with oxygen and put it in your uh, in your suit, that it won't actually count as oxygen unless it's painted white. And uh, that's what I'm going by the wiki anyways because uh, they have red as volatiles, orange as fuel, white as air, uh, orange or yellow as waste I think it was, whichever whatever color that is there and the likes so yeah uh, next all we gotta do is wait for the sun come come up and check this out now why are you not getting power everybody else has got power currently flashing an error why are you flashing an error be nice if you could actually get the error message Oh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume that the, the error is no output pipe. Oh, that's not what I want. Uh, let's go with this straight here. Aha! See? I told you I know what I'm doing. Anyway, uh, I'll bring you back here when the sun comes up. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention too, I did uh, pick up some nickel on my way out, so I got about four stacks of nickel so we can start making invar too. Uh, the whole purpose of this is to actually get the smelter... Oh, I mean, actually, that's what we can do right now. Uh, should be okay for jetpack fuel. I can swap out uh, the tank, my mining pack, if I need to. Um, what I've done, and I'm pretty sure this is highly unnecessary, but I put a volume up pump here with a pressure regulator. Got the pressure regulator set to about 5,000 kilopascals. Uh, from what I've read, most things are... Like even the canisters are just over 10,000. So I'm going to set it to 5,000 for now because that seems to be the default pressure of tanks when they're filled. So I'm just going to go with that and hope nothing bursts. And yes, I have done a backup save. So hopefully we'll be okay. So these are all set. So now I want to I want to start trying to get some volatiles going. Uh, I do need to get... Probably should get some more valves. Uh, I do have a gas mixer. That's a pressure regulator. I had a gas mixer here somewhere. Uh, somewhere. Let me sort myself out. I'll be back. 
Okay, so there's two things I actually want to try. One of them, like I said, uh, was about water. About running water through an electrolyzer, and I'll actually give you uh, a perfect fuel combination. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to tap into this pipe here. No, I want... Uh, on a corner, or turn that to a junction. And... Oh, I want to be I want to be safe on this, so I'm actually gonna put it straight here, and I am gonna put a valve on, just because. I don't think the valve has a certain direction, does it? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so then from here, I'm gonna to go ahead and grab some more pipes. We're gonna run it into an electrolyzer. That's not what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Yeah, trying to use the uh, uh, keys whenever I can. Then we just come across here like so. If I can build right, we'll go one more. And then we go down. Down, I say. One more like so. Uh, you get the idea. So let's actually see how much room this electrolyzer takes. Alright. So I want an electrolyzer. Okay, let's see here. We have one input, one output. So I think this should just output straight out fuel. At least I think. We're going to find out pretty quick here. At least that's what the wiki tells me. And when is the wiki ever wrong? Right? Anyway, uh, go ahead and grab the tank here, and I think this one will just be a small tank for now. Okay, and yes, we're going to have a maze of pipes going everywhere. Put the pipe there. I wonder if I need a pressure regulator. I do have one. You know what, just because, let's do it. And yes, I am learning the tools of the trade. The drill takes everything out. Who would have thought, huh? There we go. Go ahead and pick that up. We'll place you. We gotta place you out two more. Let's actually put you over here. If I can get some room. You know what? I was actually thinking about this. Maybe I should move the tank over here. Yeah, because I'm going to be using the electrolyzer and I'm going to use a gas mixer for the hydrogen and oxygen, or the volatile and oxide, I should say. Uh, then it would make sense to p try to patch it into this pipe. So it's all going into one tank. Because I don't want to be using the water if I don't have to, because the water is going to be for plants. And good stuff like that. Oh, look at that. It was almost like I knew what I was doing. Don't let anybody make you believe that I actually do okay and there we go a couple more pipes if I actually place them in the right spot and there we go so that is going to be our fuel mixture this just needs power I need to make uh, some more cables so actually you know what I don't need blue cables anymore <laughs> uh, that is so cheaty as long as you have one you have as long as you have one of each color, you'll never, ever, ever have to uh, repaint anything again. Uh, it's no wire cutters. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, let me get this all hooked up, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think we're good to go. So I put a uh, tank filler here. We've got a valve on there, so the electrolyzer is just going to pump right into this tank here. All that's left to do is turn this on and melt some ice. At least I hope. I do have to open up this valve if I can squeeze my fat butt through there. Okay, open that up. Now, I gotta get some ice. So, let's go grab... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't have to worry about that in a second here. Uh, let's see. And there it is. Go ahead and swap you out. And let's see here. Uh, ice. There we go. Alright. Let's see how well this actually works. And I realized I didn't actually put a uh, power switch on for that. 
Okay, we'll turn this on and do that. Now let's actually see what happens. See if the ice actually melts, and it probably won't because it shoots in the way. Now the question I have, is there a way to actually tell if this thing is working or not? Like, is there a way to actually get a volume on the tanks? Well, there is. Put a container on there. I have no idea. I might have to put a heater in there. Uh, so, yeah, let me give this a minute here, see what goes... Never mind, the ice is gone. Okay, now where is an empty container? Empty fuel canister. Uh, Jetpack is what I'm looking for. Uh, let me find a can canister. I'll be back. Okay, I found one. It's orange or beige or whatever. Uh, it's empty though. Now let's see what happens. Let me do that. Open up the valve. And nothing. So I take it this thing isn't making enough. Or it's just all pumping it into here. But there's absolutely no way to tell how much is in here. There's a data port. Hmm. And that's not filling up at all. Uh, let me look into this. I'll be right back. <laughs> I had one of those dummy moments. There's on buttons. Ah, it makes sense. And here I go to the extent to put another pressure regulator on here. And yes, uh, thank you for about reminding me about using my jetpack stabilizer to stop that from happening. Okay, let's try that. Ah, we're actually getting something here. Not much, but it should be fuel. So, this should be coming right off of oxygen. I'm going to take that, close that valve for now. And just because we'll turn that off now. Let's see if we can actually fire this thing up. Now, I do know that I have to hook up power to it. Uh, I might have to put a pressure regulator on that as well. Uh, nothing is in there. Pressure seems to be okay. Now, the power was actually up on top. So what I might do is, uh, I was actually going to move this. I want to bring it up one so I can get to the output a little bit better. So let me do that, hook up the power, and we'll go to test run. Okay, I'm back. I did uh, a little bit of ice mining too. Uh, that, yeah, this thing does seem to work. Uh, I did uh, look a little online, and uh, yeah, there is a way to do it, and I could have figured this out myself. I really did think about it at first, but basically use the logic reader and logic writer. Logic reader is set to read a small tank. Uh, logic, uh, the uh, variable output is a quantity, and then the logic writer reads the, the output from the logic fuel reader, which is this one here. I renamed it, and uh, that is nothing. But then it just writes it to the LED display, which is all the way over here. This little guy here. I, re re I changed the console to LED display. There's actually a couple different sizes of those, but we need more of those. For for it to work and I have had electrical issues I have been frying wires left right and center ever since I got those things set up so what I've done is I've split it up onto two separate grids I have two power controllers here this side here controls uh, the logics for the, the solar panels this set of conveyors these machines everything you see on here is coming off of this box this box is going over to connect to all the tanks and valves and filters and all that stuff on this side. So hopefully I don't fry any wire because I'm running out of copper and I don't want to have to go mining again. Not yet, anyways. Uh, so yeah, I am printing cable. Uh, I have made a few more logic circuits here. So that's what I want to do is try to get that set up. But first, what I want to do is see if this how that display is actually reading. So I do have... First, let's do this. Since we're going to be dumping ice, I have that valve closed. Okay. So let me turn my jetpack off and let's see here. Which belt did I have it in? I think it was this one. Uh, nope. Nope. 
I put it here. Yes. Okay. Get it in there before it melts. I don't know if it'll actually melt in there or not. And let's go on the other side and see if we're actually getting anything showing up there. Actually, it's not going to show up because that's going to the fuel tank. So we got to open this anyways. I'll open that. I know there's logic vents that you can get to. I'm pretty sure there is. And let's see if this actually reads anything. If I didn't fry any more wires. And believe it or not, that section of wire right there melted too. And I don't understand why. Oh, uh, yeah, I turned this off. That would explain why I'm not getting any fuel. But yeah, that one section, I, I don't know why you, you would think that if you have an overloaded power grid that it would burn there or somewhere in this section before it branches off. But no, it was melting over there where there was nothing. Oh, the uh, sign is down here and it's reading nothing. And the sun is going down, so I'm going to let that go for a bit and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I was able to figure it out. So that's currently how much I have in volume right now. I'm going to assume that's liters. So what I've did is I actually was a little mistaken about what I was doing here. Let me, uh, too many windows open. Come on, there we go. Get the screwdriver handy. So, yeah, I, I just had to change this. This was set to off, and I just changed it to on, and there we go. I output it to there, so that is working. So now the question is, what's going to happen when I open this valve? Okay, we'll open the valve and see if that number drops. I want to see if it's going to pump into there or not. It is not. Hmm. I'm wondering if we need another pressure regulator here. Uh, let's find out. Let's see what's actually in that container now. 125. Leave it in there a few seconds. 126. Hmm. Yeah, because that's what people are saying. Let's do it that way. Let me try something here. Okay, so I put the pressure regulator here. And we'll see what this does. So it's 80. Still 80. Still 80. Hmm. I think we need more ice in here. So, let's try something else then. Let's actually shut this off and turn this off. Like so. Let's actually see what this is reading now. Still 438. Hmm. Curious. So, from what I have here, that's how you're supposed to get stuff out of here, is by doing it this way. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's try this, shall we? Yes, I know I can use the label maker. Yes, I do, I do realize there's one in my inventory. Uh, there we go. So, let's see what that does. Aha, pressure's rising. Okay, now... The number is not going down. I wonder if it's because I need a volume pump as well. I'm not too sure because I have that here and it seems to be working. Uh, let's see what we have in here. 268. I'm wondering if that's what I need. Let's try that, shall we? Okay, so I got them all switched up. Uh, volume pump and regulator, and let's see what it's doing here. 573. Okay, that's actually filling up a lot faster by the looks of it. And let's see what's going on here. That is not going down. I wonder why. Let's have a look at the readers, shall we? Oh, what's going on here? Hmm, doesn't seem to update or I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, actually, does this do anything? It doesn't seem to. Oh, it's 
I should give it in like a f actual display if you look at it. Hmm. Get the light on here since the sun's going down. Sure, there's something I'm not doing right here. Okay, change it to mode. I know I could probably just place one down there, but again, laziness. Okay, that's not doing it. Uh, color won't be it. Setting. Hmm. There we go. Up to date. Cool. Learn something new every day. So, there we go. So that is actually working. It's doing its thing. Let's see what this did. It filled up. Good. So about all that's left to really do is to set up the which we call it. Uh, these I'll probably end up putting on a switch because uh, apparently when you shut these off, they work like a check valve, so nothing will flow back. It'll retain its pressure. So that is good. So we are 1700. Let's see what we have in here. Still going down. Now, in theory, as far as I know, this should be fuel. But the fact that the canister is not actually orange and labeled fuel will this actually work okay so if I got fuel all I should have to do is push that ignite button and I think we gotta drop the pressure I'll bring it right down actually shut that off for now yeah I'm not too sure how that auto, that, uh, auto ignite is supposed to work and you're supposed to have fuel in the system you just hit the activate button it's supposed to do something if it wasn't out of fuel hmm uh, let me check on this and I will return. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can tell I ran out of cable. Guess what I forgot to do. That's why it wasn't working. Let's try that again, shall we? Yes, I'm almost out of jetpack fuel. I uh, will deal with that soon enough. Okay. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't do anything now. Okay, that's closed. Oh, don't tell me any other, another pressure regulator. Or another pump. I'm going to say another pump. At least I think. Okay, once again I'm back. And I do have the, the gas mixer set up so the way it works is input one is through this side input two is on this side as you can see input two input one and so i have it set so input one is 30 percent that's the oxide and input two is 67 percent that's the volatile or hydrogen or whatever you want to call it uh so it is all it is all set up i set up a second set of pumps and regulators again I don't know if it's necessary it seems to be working with it and not without so I'm gonna go with it anyways okay so I do have my mining pack on me let's do that take my jetpack off because this pack is almost out of fuel and let's start dumping some ice in there okay yes all right so first put the volatile in now, hopefully, this stuff doesn't go boom on me. Oh, yeah. You can see it was already evaporating there. It's moving. So, I think it's working. We shall find out. And I will dump more in here. Now, I'm not going to mix it in just yet. 
I want to see if this is actually going to work. And what I might do, since I have the circuits already made, and I should have enough wire, maybe I'll try to get some displays set up for the tanks. While I'm waiting for this, possibly, or we'll just see it for the next episode, because I know I'm ram I've been rambling on too long, and this is taking too long to do. So I'm going to melt this ice, and then melt the blue ice, and then uh, we'll mix it together and see how much fuel we can get. Okay, I am done. I have gotten uh, all the, the oxide and volatile uh, melted. It should be in these tanks. We'll turn that off for now. So it should be in here and here. Uh, we won't know it until fairly soon. Uh, yes, I have gotten all logics all set up. So uh, everything is configured more or less. I just have to get the tanks set up to these, like the data ports there. And then I got to get these set up to basically the main grid here. Uh, what I've done is I've gotten the displays all set up already. So the top one is nitrogen, oxygen, water, uh, volatile, and fuel. Uh, fuel reads zero because it is zero. So let me get the rest of the wires hooked up and then we'll see what we have on the displays. My god, I was standing up here on this block. I was staring at the, the horizon waiting for the sun to get, come up and it came up. And my god, it was bright. Anyway, I am done. I have it all set up, so I'll quickly show you what I got going on here. Oop. Except for the fact that I'm about to fall off the edge here. Okay, yeah, so I've got them all set to read the tanks and all that good stuff. So we just got to turn them on. Should be all good to go. If they uh, flash, it means I got something labeled wrong or set wrong or, or something. So these are all set up the same as everything else. I actually uh, label the tanks and the displays. So hopefully everything is working. Uh, is that wrong? Yeah, see, I melted a whole bunch of volatile and a whole bunch of oxide hmm Let's see what's going on here I like how you can actually read the displays why is there no oxygen in there or volatile why has it been going all into the oxygen tank or nitrogen tank nitrogen filter yes Hmm. Unless I'm reading something wrong. I don't think so. Volatile tank, yes. Water tank. And nitrogen tank. If I didn't know better, I'd say I had a wire crossed. Uh, let me investigate this. Okay, I'm back. And, uh, yeah, we're we'll running out of daylight here. And I want to kind of end this episode pretty quick here. So I'm going to drop down here quickly. I'm going to throw some ice in here. See what happens. We're going to start with the water because we know the water was actually working. So that's going to go there. Just as the sun goes down. Damn. Uh, let's see if it's actually reading anything. Uh, water, nothing. I have a feeling my displays might be messed up, but nothing's melting right now, so I guess I'll see you the next morning. Okay, so I did figure out the problem. Uh, the problem was is I don't know how to read properly, but, uh, you know, you kind of assume things from what you see, and as you can see, things are a little different here. I just need to rename this. I had to take the tag apart to get rid of all the quote unquote nitrogen that was in there as apparently what what's going on is uh, the stuff that gets filtered actually goes out the end not the side as you can uh, come on where are you oh I guess I need a wrench in my hand to see it there we go filtered unfiltered oh, doesn't actually say it 
there, unfiltered. So basically anything that's supposed to be filtered comes out this pipe and not this pipe. So I had to reroute everything and so on and so forth. But uh, the good news is, let me get this away. Uh, everything is hooked up. So let's go over here and check our readings because everything is actually hooked up now. Uh, okay, the, the oxygen is the right. The uh, nitrogen needs to be updated because... I think I have to change the mode on it again. Let's go check this quickly. Hey. No device. That's because I took the device off. It's still there, it just has to be reconfigured. And I am looking for a nitrogen tank. And this is the disadvantage to me actually having this all hooked up on the same wiring grid. So where are you here? Nitrogen tank. And we set that to quantity. Ooh. There we go. So that's actually the nitrogen that we're getting out of there from the the water. Alright, so if we run back over here quickly, now we're just in time to. Sun has come up, I do have some ice to melt. Alright, uh, let's put some tools away. And. No, I don't want to label it, I want to find the handle. Come on, where are you? There you are. Get out of here. Alright, so that's nitrogen, that's water. Let's go get some volatiles in there and see what we can do. I'm going to go this way because uh, I'm almost out of jetpack fuel. Run, run before I miss the sunrise again. It's hard to believe I'm recording this episode for like five hours now. And, okay, good. I was going to say I didn't actually have my jetpack on, or my mining pack. And I got them all in here. So, put the volatile in first. Let's actually watch it go in, shall we? And there we go. Now, I'm assuming that's liters. I don't think that's actual pressure. Uh, just because it's saying quantity. and It says quantity, not volume or pressure or anything like that. Alright, so that is good. So, now... Let's go turn the electrolyzer on and see if we can actually get some fuel out of there. So, I think what I gotta do, because I think that was actually empty, yeah. I hate to do this, because I don't know what's in there. It's obviously not going to be firing up the furnace here. Okay, nothing's in there. So let me make another tank, uh, what I'll do. Let's actually get the electrolyzer going now. Did I get any more regular ice? No, I didn't. Alright, so uh, let me make some fuel and I'll be right back. Let's actually take a little peek here. <gasps> oh my god, it's working. Okay, as you can see, it's actually working pretty good. The water's going down, the fuel's going up. We have 1000 volatile in there. So we're going to throw some oxalite in there. Just because and see if that adds to the fuel mixture all right uh yeah we'll let that go go I'll hop up in here and we'll just stick one stack in there because that's all we need and we'll actually find out how much uh, how much we actually get from each piece of ice how many uh, liters for instance look at that it starts melting right away that's cool i like that I don't have the fuel mixer on. It is hooked up. I still actually have to set it up. Oh, might as well use this jetpack fuel while I can. Uh, I want to keep this tank in here because I don't want to go take an aqua and mine realizing I don't have any jetpack fuel. So this is the mixer here. And then uh, input, input two. Uh, I got to check this again. Hang on. Okay, there we go. So yeah, 33% oxygen. Uh, 67% volatile. I haven't turned it on yet. I just want to see where we're at here. So the water hasn't quite gone through yet. The oxalate's going through, and we're actually getting nitrogen out of that too, surprisingly. Hmm. 
interesting so water will be running out pretty quick here that's actually pretty good got quite a bit of fuel out of that it was about two thirds or something which kind of makes sense I'm actually waiting for this to go down uh, but yeah anyways let's go uh, turn the mixer on actually you know what I'm going to do I'm going to save just in case because you never know especially with me Okay, gas mixer is on. Let's see here. Okay, that is going down. Gas is fuel's going up at a pretty good rate. Oh, look at that volatile go down. Wow. I am spilling that right, right? Oh. It's an A. Oh well. I'll change that off camera. Okay, water's almost empty. We've got quite a bit of fuel. I was going to make another canister, too. Alright, I don't have any orange paint, but uh, someone had mentioned that you can make orange paint in the tool manufactory, which I am going to look at doing. We'll probably start doing that next episode. We'll start getting a whole bunch more machines going. Uh, I want to get vending machines going. I will have to do some off-camera mining, so maybe that's what we'll do here. Let's do this, because I want to actually try that. Where is it here? I want, oh, I think I have to make that only in the tool manufacturing. Uh, the, the heavy drill. You got the mining drill in here, but not the heavy mining drill. What was I going to make? I was going to make something. What was I going to make? Uh, oh, yeah, canister. <laughs> Sometimes you the wonder, huh? It's in here somewhere. I can't wait till they actually put a search in this thing. There we go, canister. How, what do you mean I'm out of iron? How could I be out of iron? Is there anything in there? No, there isn't. Alright, I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, the canister is almost done, and I also learned something, too. Yeah, I do have to have those things turned off, or if I don't have the canister in here, I lose fuel. And guess what? I lost a lot of fuel. But now, let's see if this is actually going to give me fuel. So I'll turn that on. Definitely have to get those on a switch. And we'll see how that's doing. Apparently it's doing the job. Let's see if turning the volume up will do anything. Uh, it's a regulator. I mean about these these wires, man. Oh, that means I'm gonna have to get another APC out here too, or somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, let me figure this out. Okay, that seems a little better. Uh, I took the filtration units and the uh, the arc furnace and that, and put them on over on this side here. So I've got a bit of a wire running through the base here for now. Uh, this is just for now because I'm gonna have to start thinking about what I'm going to do realistically I should have all this heavy wire because I realize I have a lot of pumps and regulators and things that are probably highly unnecessary uh, but uh, anyway uh, let's get down here let's see how we're doing oh wow full tank all right let's see what this actually does let's see if it actually does anything I don't know. We're going to find out in a minute. Okay, we'll turn you on and fry something. Hey! I did it. I did it. That's all I wanted to do. Believe it or not, we'll just be able to get this thing automated, or semi-automated on the fuel so I don't have to actually... Wait till night time and throw ice in here and all that stuff. But at least we got started. We got this situated. Uh, like I said, I'll have to figure out a wiring scenario afterwards. Uh, I'm starting to understand like how things actually work after messing around with them. But uh, oh, 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 oh. 
I forgot there was a burnt out wire here. But yeah, so we're getting there. Uh, next is going to be a life support system and uh, pressurization. And uh, at the same time too, between now and the next episode, I'll get the, the heavy drill made, do some mining, some proper mining. Oh, I gotta remember to close that, keep the pressure and the heat, and uh, we'll even look at getting this a little more automated. Uh, this is what I'm gonna be using to do, be doing, what I'm gonna be using to do all my smelting, like just the bulk stuff. Uh, what my plan is, because now that I know there's sorters in the game, uh, I can load this up with, let's say, 500 iron, I'll dump it out, and then get sorted to go down an iron line, which will go through into a stack, which will get separated into 50 gram ingots. And then they'll go into a vending machine. And then from the vending machine, I can take the stack and put it into each individual machine because I'm not going to be using the fabricator for everything because there are things that we can't actually use for it. And, and I think that specific machines like the hydro hydraulic pipe bender might make tank kits faster than the fabricator, possibly. I'm not too sure. And then uh, we'll look at possibly more automation with stuff like this. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, Leave me a like, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.